First, I will change our integrand to fraction. So we have integral of will be square root of 1 minus 9x square over, we will put 1, and now I will multiply numerator and denominator by square root of 1 minus 9x square over square root of 1 minus 9x square. With respect to x, we have integral. So now, we have square root of 1 minus 9x squared times square root of 1 minus 9x squared. It means we can write that this is equal integral of 1 minus 9x squared over square root of 1 minus 9x squared. Of course, whatever is under square root must be positive value. So x must belong to interval from negative one-third to one-third. Next, we can rewrite our integral to two integrals. It will be integral of 1 over square root of 1 minus 9x squared minus, with respect of course to x, I forgot to add here, and minus integral of 9x square square root of 1 minus 9x square with respect to x. Next, because we have here 1 minus 9x square, we will have to do everything to get integral of 1 over square root of 1 minus u. We can write square with respect to u is equal arc sine of u plus constant c. So to get this expression, we will rewrite our first integral to form let me write this so it will be 1 over square root of 1 minus we can write 3x to second power dx minus and we can take this 9 before integral so we have 9 integral of x square over square root of 1 minus 9x square dx. Let me write this like this. So now this is equal. We can do substitution. We can put that 3x is equal u to first integral. So 3 dx will be equal du. We'll divide both sides by 3 because we need only dx. dx is equal 1 third du. So now our first integral we can rewrite to form we have 1 over square root of 1 minus u square and dx is one third du minus and we have to copy the second part nine integral of x square over square root of one minus nine x square dx so this is equal we have to copy first one third and we know that one over square root of one minus u square du is equal arc sine of u. In our example u is equal 3x. We can come back to our substitution plus constant of course and we have minus 9 integral of x square over square root of 1 minus 9x square dx. To solve 
this part first we will come back to our integral and now we will solve this integral using formula for integration by parts so let me rewrite this example we have integral of square root of 1 minus 9 x square dx because when we use integration by parts we need two function we can put this will be our one's function and i will add one so we have one times the square root so we have two function let me remind you formula for integration by parts we have integral of f of x times g prime of x with respect to x this is equal f of x times g of x minus integral of g of x times f prime of x with respect to x so let's put that our f function will be equal square root of 1 minus 9x square so i can change this to power form so it will be 1 minus 9x square and our g prime will be equal 1 so now we need to find f prime and g f prime of x will be equal of course i forgot to add power one half because we have square root so derivative of our expression will be one half times one minus nine x square will be two power one half minus one will be two negative one half and next we have to find derivative of expression which is inside parentheses so it will be negative na 9 times 2 so will be 18x and g of x is equal x so now we can come back to our formula and rewrite our integral to form first we have f times g so it will be we can come back to square root so it will be square root of 1 minus 9 x square times g g is x i can put first and next we have minus integral of g is equal x and f prime is equal we have one half and we have to negative power so it means we have to take this expression to the denominator and because we have power one half so it will be square root of one minus nine x square and in numerator we will have negative 18 x with respect of course to x we have integral so this is equal we can reduce 18 and 2 so it will be 9 and now we have to copy first part is x times square root of 1 minus 9 x square negative and negative give me positive integral 9 and we have x times x so now i can put before integral and we have x square over square root of 1 minus 9 x square dx we got exactly the same expression which we have in the first solution so now let me rewrite our two solution first was let me copy our example when we have integral of square root of 1 minus 9 x square dx we will solve this problem and we got that this is equal one third arc sine of 3x 
of course we have to add constant I will put this at the end and we have minus 9 integral of x square over 1 square root of 1 minus 9x square dx plus constant and when we use integration by parts the second method we got that integral of 1 minus 9x square dx is equal x square root of 1 minus 9x square plus 9 integral of x square over square root of 1 minus 9x square dx so now when we add this two solution we see that our last integral will reduce because we have negative and positive 9 so we can add this together and we will have 2 integral of square root of 1 minus 9x square dx is equal First, we have one third arc sine of 3x, and this part and this will reduce, and we will have plus x square root of 1 minus 9x square. Of course, we have to add constant. And now, because we have here 2, so I will divide both sides by 2, so we have that integral of square root of 1 minus 9x squared dx is equal 1 half times and in brackets we will have 1 third arc sine of 3x plus x times square root of 1 minus 9x squared plus constant c. This is my solution.